right, so this is my RC circuit. My resistor and capacitor are in series, and this is a switch here. Now, first case, when the, the switch is open, what's the current? There is nothing. There's an open circuit. There's no closed circuit. There's no path for the charges to actually flow through. Now what if I close the circuit? So I'm going to close the switch and I'm going to look at it for when the time is really, really small. And that's like a technical really, really small. No kidding. So now I'm going to close it. I'm going to show that I'm closing it by using just this other color right there. But it's just so that we can see that there's, I've added something to that picture for now. Now the current can start moving. Now if we think of the capacitor as being the warehouse, initially the warehouse is empty. It's kind of like initially there's an empty auditorium. So if we have a guest speaker here, Kobe Bryant is in the auditorium and we want to go see him, right? There's no one in the auditorium. They dismiss everyone to go to the auditorium. What's the initial flow of people going to be like into that empty auditorium? Is it going to be people quickly being able to file in, or is it going to be like slow and waiting initially? Pretty, pretty quick. If you're standing here and looking at the auditorium from my, my vantage point up here, could you really tell if people are passing through the auditorium and just going out the other side? I mean, you're watching them go in. Doesn't seem like they're having any trouble getting into the auditorium. Go, go, go. From here, could I tell that they're not just like walking through the music room areas and then out some side door and jumping in their car and running away? I can't tell. So initially, because the capacitor is empty and there's so much space for the charge to fill in, it behaves like a wire with really, really small resistance. So it, it is not a wire, but it behaves as a wire. The cap behaves as a wire. Basically something with little bitty resistance. Little bitty resistance. So if that's true, then I could redraw my circuit as being battery, closed switch, resistor, e -r -e -r -e -r -e -r, and then um, a capacitor with boop, a little bit of resistance because that's how it's behaving. It is not a resistor. It's just its behavior. So if this is R, this is little bitty tiny R, like 0 .00000 ohms, and this is V voltage, then what would the current through the resistor be? Approximately, really close to. Because this one's tiny teeny teeny tiny like insignificantly tiny so yeah now what if I watch that auditorium after a long time what's gonna happen to the flow of people it's gonna slow down like when we're trying to get into the gym and things like that for fun stuff so now I'm gonna have a closed switch but T is gonna be really big so after a long time, after a long time, it, what's going to happen to our current? It, yeah, it's slower, so our current's going to get smaller. So how is the capacitor going to behave now? It, it's, it's going to, its behavior, yeah, is like a really big resistor. So I'm going to show my circuit is closed my resistor that was originally there and then now my capacitor is behaving like an enormous resistor R where this one was R ok 
Okay, so our cap behaves as a huge resistor. So, what's the current through the circuit? Enormous resistance. About zero. Perfect. Now, what good is this resistor, capacitor, blob of science? Well, once we charge a capacitor, we can use that stored charge on demand. Okay? We can discharge the capacitor. So if we wire it similarly, where you've got a battery and a switch and a resistor and a capacitor, or capacitor than resistor, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to I'm going to set up another path over here with another switch like this. Both switches are open, there's no current. Close switch 1. What happens to our capacitor? It it get does it get charged up? Okay. Then after it's fully charged and I'll show that with some positives here and negatives here. Remember the negative side of the battery, so that's going to be the negatively charged plate there. So once it's completely charged, I'm going to um, open the, the switch back up. So now the charge is just hanging out, waiting for something to happen. I'm going to replace this with something more exciting, like uh, a light bulb. Now if I close this switch, what's going to happen? What are these negative, what are these electrons going to do? Can they get to the, the positive charges that they love right there? They can't jump this air gap. They want to. Their affinity to do it is huge, but they can't. So I've closed the circuit now. What can they do? Oh my goodness, they can start running this way, and yay, we've made it to our friends, the positive charges. What are you going to see right here? Oh my gosh, is it going to last forever? What will you see? Boop. When do you see a boop of light? Come on. You've probably. Yeah, I was about to say, you probably have seen one probably in the last 24 hours. Because. I mean, don't you do that? Yeah. I know you people. Yes, ma'am.